Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to set up the Pro-V coach pole. Let's take a look at the components that come in the kit. There are two accessory attachment mounts that come pre-installed on the coach pole. A tilting tripod head also comes pre-installed. Next, we have the Panasonic compact camera head, header cable, and camera weather enclosure. The Panasonic AG UMR20 recorder, battery, charger, and the AG UMR20 mounting bracket. The VeriZoom Rock DVX and VeriZoom mounting handle. A seven inch monitor with an HDMI cable, battery, charger, sunshade, and rain cover. Now that we're familiarized with the components, let's get them ready to mount onto the Pro-V coach pole. Disengage the safety latch and move the release lever to the left to remove the quick release plate. The quick release plate can be threaded directly to the bottom of the camera. Make sure that the lens indicator is pointing in the direction of the lens. To use the weather enclosure, we first need to sandwich the bottom plate between the camera head and the quick release plate. Make sure that the cable opening is located at the back of the camera. Feed the header cable through the opening and connect to the back of the camera. Finally, attach the top with the three included screws. The weather enclosure can be used not only to protect the camera from rain, but also protect from direct sunlight and sun flares. Attach the AG UMR20 recorder to the mounting bracket. Fasten with four screws and install the battery. The mounting bracket still leaves easy access to the SD card slots on the side and the accessory ports on the bottom. Slide the VeriZoom Rock DVX onto the VeriZoom mounting handle and tighten the screws on the underside. Attach the battery to the back of the monitor. To attach the sunshade, loop the straps around the back of the monitor. The rain cover uses hook and loop to attach to the back of the monitor shade. Now that all the components are prepared, let's start attaching them to the coach pole. We have the coach pole mounted in the coach pole legs. If you do not have this optional accessory, you could lean the coach pole against a table, a chair, or recruit a second set of hands to help you. Adjust the lower accessory mount so it's in the lowest position possible. Do not over tighten the thumb screws. The accessory mount has an articulating connection point. By loosening the knob on the side, the connection point can be angled. By loosening the green collar, you can rotate the connection point. Attach the recorder. Adjust the second accessory mount to shoulder height. Attach the zoom controller above the AG UMR20 recorder and plug in the length cable to the bottom of the recorder. Adjust the angle of the zoom handle by loosening the nut. Mount the monitor and adjust the tilt as needed. Connect the monitor to the recorder via the HDMI cable. Mount the camera to the tripod head and engage the safety lever. Plug in the camera's header cable to the bottom of the AG UMR20 recorder. Now that we're done setting up the Pro-V coach pole, let's see it in action. This is the Pro-V to go coach pole with the bottom riser fully extended. Now let's raise it up all the way to 14 feet. To pan, pivot the coach pole left and right. For minor tilt adjustments, tilt the coach pole forward and back. When using the optional legs, you can pan the coach pole, but tilt adjustments cannot be made unless done directly at the tripod head. The coach pole should never be left unattended, and it's always a good idea to wait your stand. Thanks for watching, and please contact MediaWrite for more information.